looking at them boats, we got Mad Envy, 55 Chevy, two to four door wagon. Here we have transmission shop, which is part of CTR as well. I'm trying to phase that out, but we build a lot of 4L60Es. A lot. That's why it looks like this. I was building some yesterday. I haven't cleaned up my mess yet. We bought a new TIG welder and stuff so we can fabricate our own aluminum and stainless steel uh, fuel cells and stuff. I've got some cheats on that so you can kind of do it at home if you've got a TIG welder capable. You not have to buy all the bungs. It's a little bit more convenient for us to use a factory style pump this would be out of a pickup because it's tall this one would be out of a like a suburban or a tahoe a little smaller for height so you can get that tank size down you'll slip under frame rails on in like a 67 to 72 chevy you can use the same pump in one of these cars and you can get them off the shelf that's why we're doing it here we have luck shot one of my uh, personal friends I searched and searched for a car and this one kind of started it all a couple of years ago I decided I'd just gonna get back in the hot rod business and this poor devil it come dragging in on the trailer didn't have a wheel on it I don't think it even had spindles <laughs> If they did, they were in pretty bad shape. It's now got a it's got a pretty healthy six liter in it. And it's gonna have twin turbos on it before long. I'm still doing a bunch of wiring. I had to wait on uh, I had to wait on uh, American water, auto wire harness for it. I've used a 79 Chevy truck radiator. It's the short one. I believe it's 18 and a half inches tall. And they will fit. You can do a little bit of modification, it'll fit fine. And it'll keep it cool. I've got a 4L60 in this car. I do not have a stall in it yet. We did power disc brakes on pretty much everything on the place. Use Auto City Classics for those. Currently, uh, I'm satisfied with the product for the money. I don't really have too much trouble with them. They go on well. They're, they come with all the parts you need to bolt on. So I rebuild all the front ends back with Moog parts, all the ball joints, tie rods, control arm bushings, uh, I put a four-man power steering bearing kit in the idler arm. This one I still have yet to do. I've got them laying in there. It's got rain gear wipers, and it's been narrowed and mini-tubbed with factory springs. Let's see if I got a key here. This car got a quick knock to bare metal and brought back up to paint in like, I think it was four and a half days I worked on it. 
I needed to get it to where I could park it outside. We're trying to build onto the shop and I just needed to get it protected and where it could be rained on some. Like I said, we build, this is my temp tank. If you'll notice, that's the top out of it, like an 05 Chevy truck, an HD truck. We just grafted in, split the wheel wells. We put all new floors in it. New tail pan, new trunk pan, very trunk pan. Pretty much the body was in great shape on this thing. It was really straight, not many dings in it at all. No real hard hits or anything. We had to fix a little bit on the quarter panel here. And this piece of chrome was damaged and one of my friends managed to come up with another piece of this long quarter spear for me. And that's probably the roughest piece of chrome on the car. But I mean, it's all in really good shape. And as you can see, I've got new glass for it. I haven't changed any of it yet. It's pretty much what you see. We put new rockers on both sides. It's got new inner and outer rockers. The inners come with the floor pans. If you guys got any questions, feel free to comment and I'll try to help you with some of how to do this, how to pick them up, different ways you can do it. Been doing this a long time, fabricating cars back together. I used to have to make a lot of these parts you can buy now, but it can still be made. Right here we have a 48 GMC sitting on a 2002-2500 HD frame. The HD frames have a few bodies on it over time. I actually cut a Yukon XL in half and made a four-door HD pickup out of it. It's been a bucket truck. It's done lots and lots of work and this time it's going to do some more at the 48 GMC. This be long shot here. We've got a few more out back. four-door parts car that I'll probably turn into a two-door conversion and we'll probably use it in the movie at some point in time. Frame's a little soft in the back so I'll probably customize it up and tube chassis it you know for more of a, a stunt car type application. This is Puff the Magical Hagen. Boy is he exciting. He's got rust in places you didn't know one could rust. But we can put him back together. All in good time. If you'll notice, he's pretty rotten. But he's got class. This car came from way up north, I'm pretty sure, at some point in time. Then we have Mary Jane next to it. Figured it was only fitting. It's a 55 wagon. Don't look like much, but it's pretty solid. It's a very solid car. Probably more so than hers was. This one here is a sleeper as well. It's LS. Might be a rat's nest under here. You know what that is? Another LS. <laughs> Might have a few of them. It's not completed yet. It's already got disc brakes on it, power steering. It's got a 605 box on it, 4L60E. And we got Maleficent, another car. This car right here is going to be a gas. Straight action front end. That's the plan, anyway. Pretty good shape for its age. Somebody just parked it, took the motor and transmission out. And overall, it's a really solid old car. It'll make a nice one. 
Down here we have a derby car. It's got a little history too. This was at Whitewater in Branson, Missouri, August 29th, 1971, I believe. And Acres Insurance. You wanna run it or you want me to? How about it? Quite the mess we've got going on. 65 year old cars had a, uh, a lot of dirty parts and they got quite a mess trying to take them apart. You gotta do a lot of repair work on the clamshells and stuff for the seats on those 55s. They're pretty well destroyed as you can see by this one right here. It's got a lot of damage in it. Fortunately, I got a wire feed and a TIG and plasma cutter and we'll go make some more clamshell. Right here for Mad Envy, we're gonna put Delray interior in it, black and white. All the window garnishments will be painted red to match the color of the car. The height headliner and black carpet ought to be really crisp. We've got a few other sneaky things going on about that car that's been customized that I haven't mentioned yet because, well, I want to see if anyone notices. <laughs> it might be the only one around like it, and I've never seen one like it. It's something I thought up to do, and thus far, I think it's really cool. We got some more Delray interior for Luck Shop. We pretty much got all the seats ready to go. I've got to modify the back seats take the covers back off because I've narrowed it and so you get into a pinch right here on the wheel well and down here on the wheel well you need to cut it back farther it's not a big job but I have to pull the covers loose cut the wires down re-weld it back together at the right spot and just readjust the arch we got the package tray panel ready to be applied when I put out a new package tray uh, I think we still got to make the door panels for it. They're over there. We still got to make the, the actual door panel apple case. We got a new carpet for old Luck Shop. Got a nice Singer 281-3. And it's been converted to have a variable speed motor on it instead of the old clutch motor. The old clutch motor didn't get thrown away, it just, it was about done. This is our little upholster shop. We do some storage in here. And it's an extra house I had and I needed the space. We store some parts and some extra seats. I believe those are 68 or 9 GTO buckets, or I mean uh, Buick GS buckets. And there might be 68s and 9s there. I've got two sets. We keep some extra glass and stuff down here, extra window garnishments, old door panels so we can pick them apart for the patterns and swipe some of the stainless back that goes on them. I don't really sell parts, I try and help people find parts when they need them. You know, if I've got an extra piece and the guy's trying to put a car back together, I was trying to help out, that's what we do. And cut.
Hard boiled egg for the boys. Thank you.